What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing 4Gate Batch 6 Kelvin Collaboration 2. 4Gate released their very first barrel finished whiskey in April of 2019, the Kelvin Collaboration. Now 4Gate has teamed up with Kelvin Cooperage once again and created the Batch 6 Kelvin Collaboration 2. The Batch 6 Kelvin Collaboration 2 consists of the same high rye mash bill and now 12 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskey that was used in Batch 1. This bourbon whiskey is finished in cognac and dark rum barrels, and the dark rum barrels are from the same distillery that was used to finish batch one. The Four Gate Batch 6 is a 12 year old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with a mash bill of 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. It is non chill filtered with a 63.2% ABV, 126.4 proof, with an MSRP of around $200. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Check out the color. The color on this one, guys, is dark, which I guess it should be. It is a 12-year bourbon, and it's definitely showing that in the color. Nice, deep copper, deep mahogany color to the whiskey. I am gonna coat the sides of the glass just a little bit, just to see how viscous and oily the whiskey is. You may be asking, why are you doing this? Why does the viscosity matter? Well, I'm getting ready to nose the whiskey, and by allowing those oils to cling to the side of the glass, it definitely makes for a better nosing experience, and also it's helping me, I guess in a general sense, predetermine how it's gonna be on the palate as far as coating the palate. And as you can see, this is a super viscous and oily whiskey. The legs are running slow and thick, and it's just painted the sides of the glass. Nice viscosity on the whiskey, beautiful color. Let's get into the nose. Right away I'm getting molasses and brown sugar. A nice, rich molasses brown sugar, and a little bit of like a cocoa. Definitely a cocoa note there. A nice oak note, and not an over abundant oakiness to the nose at all for a 12 year whiskey. Very well rounded and balanced nose. I am getting a little bit of a fruity aspect, like a, like a um, cherry. A little bit of a dark fruit in there also. Um, cherries and maybe um, a plummy note. Probably from the cognac barrels. Very well balanced and approachable nose. There's no ethanol sense to it at all. And it's not super sweet. Um, a lot of these rum finished whiskeys are definitely very sweet and you're getting nothing but sweetness, but this is very well balanced, beautiful nose of the whiskey. And it's very rich and dense, a nice dense molasses, a dense rich brown sugar. And that oak note, it definitely follows suit in there. It's just flowing, it ebbs and flows very nicely. And once again, very approachable. It's 126.4 proof barrel strength whiskey. And it's there's no ethanol sense to the whiskey at all. Once again, rich molasses, dense brown sugar. There is a little bit of a cocoa note there. And there is some dark fruit plum and a little bit of a cherry note there also with a nice oak note on the nose very nice nose let's get into the taste cheers excellent mouthfeel coating the mouth well the texture is nice, it's velvety and creamy. Finish is leaning towards the long side of things, middle of the road to long. Got a little bit on the front of the palate with sweetness, like a molasses. There is a little bit of a rye clove note I was picking up 
towards the finish, but it's finishing off in this dark fruit, dark fruit oak note on the first sip. Very tasty first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Mm. That's really good. Beautiful mouthfeel, velvety, creamy. I would say the finish is even leaning towards the long side of things. It's still going, still going. On the front of the palate at that time, it was brown sugar and molasses for sure. Mid palate, you are picking up a little bit of a clove and rye spice. Back of the palate and into the finish, I'm getting some dark fruits, like a like a like a grape note, a nice grape note, and it's finishing off in that grapey oak note. It's kind of lingering. I'm definitely saying the finish is leaning towards the long side of things. Very nicely done. Very tasty, tasty whiskey. Really enjoying this. Let's go in for a third sip, guys. Cheers. Very consistent, very consistent. It's maintaining that velvety creaminess on the mouthfeel. Front of the palate, it's definitely molasses, brown sugar. Mid palate, you are picking up a little bit of that rye spice, clovey notes and baking spices. Back of the palate onto the finish, it's really finishing off in this nice fruity, like a grape or plum note and a nice oak note. I know on a lot of your older whiskeys, especially in bourbon, 12 year, a 12 year bourbon, you're pushing the limits on, this could be overly oaked. This is definitely not overly oaked. Very nice oak note on the finish. It's definitely not overbearing by no means. Very consistent mouthfeel. Very consistent all the way through. A very nice pour, once again from Fourgate. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the four gate bat six. Guys, I think this is an outstanding pour of barrel strength bourbon whiskey. A barrel strength bourbon whiskey lovers delight. They have done an outstanding job with this. It's 12 years old, yet not overly oaked. The, the rum finish and the cognac finish was beautifully balanced. You're catching the rum on the front of the palate and it's not overly sweet. A lot of times your rum finish, you're getting that overly sweet, dense, dark molasses, it just kind of takes over the whole sip. It's not that in this case, it's very well balanced. Front of the palate, you're catching a nice sweetness from molasses and brown sugar. You're also catching a little bit of rye spice to balance out that sweetness and it's finishing off in the cognac finishing with the fruitiness and that nice aged 12 year oak note on the finish. It is a beautifully done barrel strength bourbon whiskey. Nicely done once again for Gate. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.